next on Airwolf. Had you concerns about your safety on set during filming? Um, when we were shooting Flight 093 is Missing, we had some very, very long days and some very tense days because we were in a set with water up to our knees and lights all around. And I was very nervous about the electricity and the lights. And I do remember one particular day that was very hard. And I had one of the craft service guys who was a friend said, Jeannie, before you go back into that set with all that water and those lights, ask the first AD to do it. Ask him to walk your shot. And I was like, well, why do I want to do that? And he said, well, because they're rushing. And you just want to make sure that he feels that it's safe enough. And of course, I kind of panicked a little bit. But then when they called me to the set, I and mean, before we all got in it and got in that water, um, I said to the first AD, I'm very nervous about this. I had to come down a metal staircase. It was a circular staircase where water was rushing into about a foot of water. So I said, could you do that walk for me? Could you just come down the staircase and into the water? Because I'm just a little bit nervous about it. Well, what are you nervous about? Well, I'm nervous about the lights and the cables and the water. And he said, Jeannie, you know, we're not going to electrocute you. So I said, I know, I know, but could you do it first? And so he, he got very angry and he said, okay, that's, uh, that's it. We're going to take 10. We're going to make sure the set is safe for the actors. Um, let's go. They took the time and they reassured all of us that the lights and the water and the cables were all safe. I have to say, I don't know for certain that they weren't safe to begin with, but the craft services fellow who said, Jeannie, have them check it, often looked out for me on the set. There was another occasion when I was uh, working with an air tank in Condemned, and he, he was very nervous about me being in the suit and being far away from the camera crew. We were walking into this big open space, and they were on a, a cherry picker, and the crew was all way back. And they had said, if your air goes out, your mask is going to vibrate. So it was like scuba diving. And I, I had scuba dove. I kind of knew what that was. And I knew how much time I had on, on the tank or whatever. He said, you know, they need to check that and make sure your tank is full. And you need to know that, that you're safe because it's on your back. You're in the suit. You can't get in and out of that suit quickly enough. They kept looking at that and checking on that for me. But the way that we discovered that it wasn't safe, unfortunately, it was with Debbie. She also did the shot. So they did it with Jan and I, and Jan was very claustrophobic. Uh, so getting into that suit and being told, oh, well, when your air starts to run out, your, your mask is going to vibrate. That was making him pretty nervous. And when Debbie and I can't remember if that would have been Reed, when they did it, they had said, if you feel the mask vibrate, you're far enough away from us, we won't know what's happening. Put your hands up and wiggle your fingers to let us know that you're in trouble. So Debbie knew that too. Well, when she did it, they gave her my tank and it was low. By the time they got close to the building, as far away from the crew as you could possibly be, she lost her air. So she put her hands up. She was very calm, very controlled. She started to walk back towards the crew so that the crew could get to her. It decreased that space in that time and get that suit off of her because she was running out of air. I trusted this guy a lot. So on this particular instance with the, with the water, um, I was very glad to get it done. Airwolf will continue. <laughs>